Yo, 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 Math by the Moon here with a video today about multiplying monomials involving powers of I. So this shouldn't be too bad. It's more of actually a, a, a game of exponent properties um, than it is powers of I, but you do have to have your little cheat sheet for your powers of I. So have that available um, or have it memorized and be able to make it. So let me uh, share my screen here. And what you are about to see is Hopefully not my ugly mug. Oh, it's my ugly mug again. All right, where's my browser? There it is. So here we have four examples. So if you want to pause the video and write those four examples down, please do so. Um, what we'll end up doing, we'll, we'll go this way. We'll go one, two, three, four. I'll number them, okay? Um, I don't know why that saying that, but we're going to keep on going. Hopefully it doesn't crash on me. So number one here, what I said earlier is about multiplying. It's going to be more of an exponents property. So remember our exponent property, when we multiply, we add the exponents. So uh, we'll take one, two, three, four, it'll be I to the fourth. And we multiply two times three is six and four times five is 26 times 20 is 120. And we said that I was an atheist. He doesn't believe in higher powers. So we have to know what I to the fourth is. I to the fourth is one, uno, and eins. So this would equal 120 times one, right? Because I to the fourth or just 120. Okay. Second example over here gets a little more difficult because now we have something with powers of I that are a little higher than just a regular one. So we'll multiply the coefficients. Uh, this is 20 times negative 2, so that's negative 40. And then we have all of our i's. Uh, 13 and 12 is 25, 26, so that's i to the 26th. I added them all up. And I know that 26 divided by 4 is going to give me a remainder of 2. And I know anything with a remainder of 2 is negative 1. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to replace the i to the 26th with a negative 1. So it will be negative 40 times negative one, which is positive 40. Okay. Now, these next couple of examples, you see uh, not just multiplication, but you see the most powerful rule in powers history. I always call it the most powerful rule because it means I got to do that first. It's an exponent outside of an expression. So, um, I got to take this exponent and it means to raise everything in here to the second power or to multiply the exponents that exist for everything on the inside of that. Now, this is a monomial, so I don't have to write it out in FOIL. That's, that's convenient because the next lesson we're going to deal with is going to be binomials. So there's going to be a plus or a minus in here and you won't be able to do this anymore. So right now I'm saying you can kind of distribute this exponent, but the only reason why that's true is because it's a monomial. There's only multiplication on the inside. So I'm, I know that I'm squaring and I'm multiplying exponents. That's the rule for power of a power. So it would be a negative two times negative two, which is a positive four and I squared here. Okay. Um, and then I will, and I have to do this first because think of your order of operations. Before you can multiply the rest of this stuff out, you got to take care of exponents. Exponents come before multiplication and division in PEMDAS. So now we have 4i to the 12th times 5. I'm going to make that 20, and I'm going to drop in here my i to the 25th again. I'm going to combine those just maybe to speed up the math a little bit. So 20 times 4, and it's positive 4 because a negative squared, a negative times a negative is a positive 4, would make this 80. And it will be i to the 27th, because now we're going to add these exponents. And we know that 27 divided by 4 is going to be a remainder of 3. And it's a positive remainder. So you look at your little cheat sheet, that's my pirate i, that's negative i. So this will be 80, and instead of i to the 27th, we know that's going to be negative i, right? So 80 times negative i or negative 80 i would be the simplified version of this mess, okay? Last one, example four. I'm going to throw something in here real quick just so I, I address it. I'm going to put a little four 
as my exponent in there. So it's 2i to the fourth, okay? I, I want I want to explain this so that we all, it's not just a rule that we're memorizing, we're, we're going to actually hear it out. So first of all, we got to take care of, of this power of two before we can multiply. So that means I'm multiplying whatever that base is times itself, it's squaring. So negative two times negative two is positive four. I to the fourth times I to the fourth is really going to be I to the eighth. And that's why I wanted to because over here I avoided that possibility. I didn't, I, didn't have the, I didn't have the ability to talk about that. I said it was a multiplication of the exponent and it's because you're really multiplying i to the fourth times itself twice. So if this was i to the fourth to the third, it'd be i to the fourth times i to the fourth times i to the fourth, which is why we would do i to the twelfth. Okay, so it really is power of a power, you multiply the exponents, not the coefficient, but you multiply the exponents. I'm going to simplify this a little bit here. Um, 4 and 5 would make 20. If I multiply those, and I'll add these exponents, and I'm up to negative 25. Okay? So simplifying what I have left would make it 80 i to the – hide this real quick. Hide that real quick. 80 i to the uh, negative 20 – Five plus eight would be negative 17. And I'm still gonna divide that by four. I'm gonna get a remainder of negative one. And remember when we did that, the remainder on the negative side, that negative one turned into a negative I, okay? Uh, so you have to have that little cheat sheet available. So this is gonna be 80 times negative I or negative 80 I, okay? Um, that was really strange that that happened on both of these. And, well, that came out to a, a remainder of 3 on the positive side, so that's a negative i. And that came out to a remainder of negative 1 on the negative side. And remember, those are the ones that switch. Ooh, maybe I was a genius when I made that, or maybe I was just lucky. Probably just lucky. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to jot these down. Pause it or just jot the problem down and work it out and see if you can find the match, okay? Pause it. You ready? Here it comes. Oh, let me know. If you need any help, I will work these out. I even put my little cheat sheet down here for you if you wanna go back or copy that down so you have it. Um, if I could model it for my kids at home that aren't ever here, if I could model it, what I do is I go, I go I, negative one, negative I, and one, and then I come over here and I do it again. I, negative one, negative I, and I don't repeat that one. That one is kind of where I, so I really just write I, negative one, negative I, one, I, negative one, negative I, one. I just start right here, start right here. I, negative one, negative I, one, write it down. I, negative one, negative I, one, and then go to the one and put a zero, and then go from there, one, two, three, and then negative one, negative two, negative three. Then you have your little cheat sheet. That's how I make it. Let me know if you have any questions later. Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing good. Except I think I just lost a video. You like the online stuff?